It's July 8, 2022 at 10.25 a.m. I'm Todd Dunn and today I'm on my way to Bar Harbor again. Yeah, we're out of Staples so I got to make another trip to the supermarket. And while I am in Bar Harbor, I'll show you what it looks like here now that the high season is going strong first weekend of the high season usually is the 4th of July and that has now passed so Bar Harbor should be pretty crowded okay I'll come back when we get closer to Bar Harbor we're gonna we just passed the uh, sign for the Eagle Lake carriage road access parking lot and the parking lot is right up here you can see cars parked alongside the road that usually is an indicator that the parking lot, which holds about 20 cars, is full. And it's 1045 AM. Yeah, parking lot's completely full, and these cars are people who couldn't get a spot in a parking lot and are looking to go on the carriage road. Now this is probably the busiest carriage road access in Acadia National Park because it is so close to Bar Harbor where most people stay. But uh, this on a Friday morning is what you'll see. And we're going to be into uh, Bar Harbor in just a couple of minutes. The next thing we're going to pass is uh, the entrance to the park to go to Jordan Pond, up to Cadillac Mountain, onto the Park Loop Road, or to go over to the main visitor center. And that's just up here a little bit, and that is very, very close to Bar Harbor. So, uh, you can see it's a nice summer day. It's about 70 degrees out today, so not quite as stiflingly hot as it has been. Now, this little bridge here, built in the style of the carriage road bridges, takes the access road across the highway here for people headed toward Jordan Pond, Cadillac Mountain, and onto the Park Loop Road. And here is the turnoff. And we will be in Bar Harbor in just about two minutes. That's how close this is to town. That's one aspect of Acadia National Park is that uh, because the park, particularly on this side of the island, occupies almost well, more than half of the east side of the island. Uh, you don't get very far from any of the little towns over here before you're in Acadia National Park. And now we are in Bar Harbor. This is the golf course here. And a lot of cars in the parking lot, a few golf carts. So it's you know, relatively busy. And now we're going to drive through the first little bit of residential Bar Harbor. There's a place you can buy some lobsters. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. Now this area here was completely burned in the 1947 fire. So none of the homes in this little stretch are older than about 1948 and there were several big estates over here that were burned out and you can just see some of their remains in the form of uh, bits of stone wall and things like that there's a stone wall here that was part of a, an estate boundary uh, and that's all that's left of it and we'll come up here to the stoplight and then we will proceed into the sort of old part of Bar Harbor. And this area, basically from about this stoplight on, did not burn. Now, there are a couple buildings on the right-hand side of the road here for maybe 50 yards, 100 yards past the stoplight did burn. But that was the extent of the fire back then. So new buildings here, and then very quickly we get into older buildings because this part of town was not burned by the fire, 
as you can see, the buildings here uh, are a lot older. And of course, everything is open now. And a few of the inns have vacancy signs. That simply means that uh, people have checked out for the day and probably some of the guests haven't checked in later. But uh, looks like you could just show up today and get a place to stay. Now, <clears throat> probably couldn't do that tomorrow Bar Harbor tends to completely fill up on weekends. And you can see there are quite a few people walking around and we're not even to Main Street yet. This uh, road here ends at Main Street, which is right up ahead, where we will make a left turn and drive down Main Street and hopefully I can find a place to park. Although judging from the fact that it's totally parked up here, I may not. So here we are at Main Street, Bar Harbor, on July 8, 2022. Okay, where is this guy going? Just have to wait until there's a gap. Looks like here. And here we are. Remember, it is 10.50 in the morning. And here's Main Street Bar Harbor on a comfortable 71 degree Friday morning with uh, partly cloudy skies. And as you can see, there are not too many empty parking spots. And one thing you have to do here is yield to pedestrians. It's the law here in Maine. If they're in a crosswalk, you must yield to them. And I guess you should yield to them even if they're not in a crosswalk. The authorities frown on you running them over out of a crosswalk. So here we go. And we head down toward the waterfront. Yeah, yeah, yeah a few people here. It's not super crowded, but uh, there's quite a few people walking around here in Bar Harbor. And these are people who've chosen not to go into the park this morning. But it's a pretty good crowd. And here we come. Maybe we can find a spot to park down here by Agamont Park, which is on the right. Just turn the camera so you can see it. And there's the water. It's kind of breezy today. And there are a lot more boats in than there were even a week ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, as we come down here toward West Street, where Main Street ends, and we're going to hang a right and go out onto the town dock. A little day cruiser over there. It's come in, tied up for a little while. And there's one scooter at the dock over here waiting for uh, people to go out for a cruise. And the four-masted schooner, Margaret Todd, must be out there somewhere, cruising. And we'll see how it looks down here. Another big yacht anchored out over there. And parking lot down here on the town dock looks pretty full. So I don't think I'll be parking and walking around today just because it's pretty busy. Lots of boats here, visiting boats, uh, even lobster boats. So it's uh, pretty crowded here in Bar Harbor. This is the first time so far that there really hasn't been any place to park. But that's sort of normal for this time of year. July and August are the busiest times here in Bar Harbor. And uh, getting a place to park can be quite a challenge, as you can see. I think I've pa passed one open parking spot up on Main Street, but there were some people standing in it who would have had to move in order for me to park there. And I really didn't feel like parallel parking. 
so here we go parking down here at the town dock is completely full okay let's head back up main street to cottage and uh be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> the road here is not really wide enough <laughs> for this delivery truck. I don't know what he's going to do because I don't think he can turn around down there. You see quite a few people on West Street. Now we're going to head back up to Cottage Street which is one block up and then head down to the supermarket. And as you can see, it's completely parked up down here. Quite a few people walking around. And I assure you that if I was to head onto the Park Loop Road today, and go out past Sand Beach and Thunder Hole, that uh, it would be jammed with cars. And finding a parking spot, say at Sand Beach, would be a challenge on a day like today. Okay, here we are, Cottage Street. Let's see how busy it looks. Sometimes there are some parking spots here on Cottage Street when there aren't any further out. There was one there, but it just got taken. It's another one. No, that isn't. That's a park. One parking spot so far. And as you can see, it's pretty busy here. Lots of people walking around. Here's another one I could take, but... Well, there's parking down here. I don't know if this is two hour or not. Uh, if you wanted to go into downtown, you could park just outside downtown here on Cottage Street. As you can see, there's quite a bit of traffic and lots of people walking around, even down here. And there are restaurants and things like that down here and some other tourist-oriented business. And there we go. Gasoline in Bar Harbor. $4.83 cash for $94.9 for credit. That's about the same as it is over in Bar in Southwest Harbor and Bass Harbor. Okay, we're just about to leave Bar Harbor. It's pretty crazy today. Uh, summer season is in full swing and the place is packed with people. And uh, it is very, very busy. As you saw when we went down Main Street and out onto the town dock, essentially no place to park unless you're willing to circulate through town a number of times and hopefully grab a spot when it when one opens up now all the parking in bar harbor with the exception of say hotel parking or parking in a in the supermarket parking lot is paid and the standard rate is around two dollars an hour so uh, it's not a bargain to park in Bar Harbor. Okay, so we're heading out of town now. Back the way we came in. There goes an Island Explorer bus. They're running a full schedule. All routes this summer. Back to normal. After a couple years when they ran either nothing or very, very reduced routes and schedules. So uh, you can, once you get here, park your car and take... The Island Explorer bus into the park. It is free and on the Park Loop Road in particular they run quite frequently and uh, you can just flag one down and get on. And that's I think the best way to see the park and also uh, if you want to go to a carriage road particularly if you'd like to walk through uh, and come out at a different place than where you went in, the Island Explorer bus is the way to go because then you won't have to worry about finding a place to park. And at the beginning of this video, you probably saw just how many cars were parked at the Eagle Lake Carriage Road access.
access point. And all of the others will be similar. The actual parking areas for the carriage road access points are pretty small. Eagle Lake is just about the biggest one. It can accommodate maybe 25 cars. And then people park alongside the road, although there are limitations to parking alongside the road in a lot of places. But uh, if you're coming to the park this time of year, it is a very good time to uh, take the bus. Unfortunately, there is no public transportation to Mount Desert Island. Uh, so you're gonna have to drive here, but once you're here, I'd recommend parking and taking the bus. So that pretty much wraps up this quick look at Bar Harbor on July 8, 2022. It's just afternoon now, and I am heading back across the island to Bass Harbor. So, thanks for watching.